This is the European Graffiti Story by Sydney down Mon Study Abroad. And the first place we went was Amsterdam. Amsterdam had two really good pieces of graffiti done that were very bold statements. And then after Amsterdam, we went to Germany and we went to a student prison where they wrote anything they wanted on the walls. And they made statements and they liked to have traces of their bodies on there. And there was a fruit market sign on a door. And then after that, there were just random little statements that we found. And then when in Munich, we found an entire alley that was devoted to graffiti and people spray paint arts, which is really just graffiti. And then we went to Austria where we only found two little things while we were in Innsbruck. And that was kind of sad. But then we went to Italy where it was on every single corner. We walked around the hotel and we found things on the beach. We went through bridges and we found things. We went just out and about. We found entire alley walls. We found all kinds of things that were just random. And yet, sometimes there was a true point to them. Like the guy's face. And sometimes we found that they were whited out. Like people were trying to hide it. And then there was the Romeo and Juliet wall where everyone proclaimed their love. And then there was Switzerland where Switzerland was very different. They had little things, they had big things, they had medium-sized things, but they weren't always anywhere nearby. And then they had entire train sides covered, which is pretty average in America now, but it's usually a lot of different things. Then we went to France. France did a lot of wall art, a lot of pretty things, a lot of just seeing if people can get looking at their stuff like on this van, looking at the things with all the color. And they like to be bold with their statements. And they like to make art. They make their graffiti art, just like the sidewalk chalk paintings. And then we went to England, where England, there wasn't a whole lot. There were a few walls, and then there was really just graffiti at Abbey Road for the Beatles. And then we went to Ireland, where it was used as a front face for certain places, stores, and other kinds of buildings to where they used it as a decoration. They embraced it and allowed it to be a decoration. So that's Graffiti of England.